Hello! Welcome to another Southern New Hampshire University's Learning Center tutorial on how to use Minitab Express. In this video, we'll strictly be talking about running a multiple regression test. If you haven't done so already, you're going to need to install Minitab on your computer. You can do that by either going to Minitab website or Minitab's website and downloading Minitab Express, or you can get it through the Southern New Hampshire University Blackboard site. If you need assistance with getting it through the Southern New Hampshire University page, then you I would suggest going to the tutorial video within this series that helps you with the installation process of Minitab Express. Once you've done that and you have it installed, please open up Minitab and you should be looking at something very similar to what it is that I have on screen right now. So once Minitab is open, you will select statistics and you will select the multiple regression option over here. Um, I've already entered in my data. There are going to be tons of different ways that you can in Put your data but it totally depends on what type of question it is that you're working with so for me in my scenario i've created a bunch of data that talks about test grades and i'm trying to predict what things you can do in order to improve your test grade so i have uh, six individuals here that i've just kind of created for this scenario where i've put in their test grades i've put in the number of hours studied uh, for the test, the number of the hours of sleep they got the night before, and the number of days that they studied. Ignore that typo. Um, so yeah, this basically is just how many days they've studied uh, for it. So like if they've only, like two days of the week they looked at the material, that'd be a two. Uh, if they studied the night before, then it'd just be one. Um, but yeah, I just made that up. So whatever scenario it is that you're working with, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be these numbers, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've just kind of created this scenario here. So. Just keep in mind that your response variable is what you're looking for, and your explanatory variable is things that you would think would explain it. So in this case, I'm telling you that I believe that hours studied, hours sleep, and the number of days studied are significant explanatory variables towards a test grade, which is the response. So in this case, I'm going to select test grade as my response, because that's the thing that I care about and I'm trying to predict. So then in this option below, it says continuous predictor. So then I'm going to select all the things that I believe are good predictors of that response. Uh, for more things that you could have outputted, you could select the graphs option here and you can have it print out residual plots and things like that. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna keep it simple and just talk about the multiple regression at hand. So once I have entered in my uh, predictors here or my explanatory variables, I'm going to hit OK and it's going to run the multiple regression test. Uh, so basically the, the important parts here are um, the analysis of variance, you know, it gives you your regression equation here. So if you were supposed to predict a test grade, it's like let's say you wanted to apply this to yourself, if you took note of how many hours you studied, hours of sleep, and the number of days studied, you could just plug that information into this equation and try and predict what test grades you would get based off of all this data. Uh, so this is important sometimes depending on the question that's asking. Uh, this is the equation like I said. Uh, this is like your R squared value here. The R squared value basically tells you the percentage of data uh, that would be explained by your equation. Um, basically the higher the R squared value is, the more appropriate your model is for that uh, situation. But again, I'm going to try and stay away from all the math of it because these tutorials are strictly just trying to get you familiar with Minitab and how to run the tests uh, within the program. So I'm just going to go up ahead here. And then yes, uh, the analysis of variance, these are the three variables here, hours studied, hours of sleep, uh, and number of days studied. And it gives you p-values for all of those um, variables. So that's the important part. If you're specifically testing to see if a specific variable is a good uh, explanatory variable, then you would look at just that variable's p-value and compare it to your level of significance to find out if it's significant or not. If you're just trying to figure out which variables you would get rid of or keep, uh, I think right now the way we've been doing it is that you would only get rid of one at a time. Uh, and it'd be your highest p-value. So my scenario, my highest p-value is the number of days studied. So that'd be the one that I'd want to get rid of. So I would run the regression model again, but I wouldn't include number of days studied because that's my least significant predictor out of the three. So then I would run the test again, and then it would tell me this model and my p-values would change. And you, you would then use this model um, 
or whatever. So it totally depends on what your professor or whatever it is that you're working on wants you to do. But these are the basic ideas of how to do a multiple regression uh, test or model in this case um, using meaning type express when you've ran multiple mul or <laughs> multiple multiple regressions uh, or several I should say uh, you can use the navigator window on the side and these are all the things that you've had mini tab run during your session of the program so I've run multiple regression twice so these are my two models here uh, and then you can compare the two and things like that. So, like I said, it totally depends on what it is exactly that you need to do with Minitab or whatever it is that your professor is asking you or things like that. But just keep in mind that these are the basic ways on how you would use multiple regression using Minitab Express. So, yes, I hope this video helped. Please check out any of the other videos that are within this series about how to use Minitab uh, to try and familiarize yourself with the, the program uh, so that way you can apply it to your own questions and hopefully uh, utilize the really awesome potential that Minitab Express has. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully this video helped.